But luckily, they FaceTimed me in on Friday night, man. Uh, the boys went to the to uh, Armani's beautiful, beautiful bench that has his name on it. Big and it says, to glory be the God. It has his beautiful picture on it. It has birds and crosses and flowers and just, it says husband, brother, son, friend. You know, like it says all the things that he was. And it's just a powerful, powerful uh, place to go visit him, you know, so... Uh, every time I go to Florida, I'm gonna make sure I get out there. But man, it was just cool to see the boys go out there and watch the Rays game. We told stories about Armani. We talked about like this year and how things have been and just uh, the lives that have come to Christ through Armani's passing. And it was just, it was really special, man. It just really made me realize that, yo, like God is still moving with this story. You know, like it is not over. It's not like, you know, the funeral happened and everybody came to Christ in that moment and stuff like that. No, it's like Armani's, Armani's name and likeness and legacy and just the effect it had on so many people's souls is going to be uh, widespread for a very long time. I know his dad is writing a book right now. Is ooh, sorry, didn't mean to give that info out, but he's working on <laughs> he's working on something <laughs> uh, about Armani, and it's just it feels good to like hear that, and you know, because it's like man, that's that's how you go through with it. That's how you deal with it. That's how you let people know like. Yo, uh, your son did not die in vain. He died in like a way that is going to bring souls to the kingdom. And if there's any way in my life, if I ever have to deal with losing a son, I hope it's like that. You know, it's like, man, I feel so much for Paco and Daisy. And I'm, maybe they'll hear this episode, but I feel so much for them, uh, like so heavy. But at the same time, like, man, I just feel like good about everything that they're doing for him they played like a soccer game and so many people came out to play a soccer game because that was Armani's favorite sport and they wore his jerseys they had his trophies there they had barbecue they, they let Gigi score the first goal like it's a whole vibe like Armani is still vibing you know what I mean like his name is his spirit is still here and we did an episode called the spirit of Armani last year when he passed and I encourage y'all to go listen to that one because Man, he just is just so different. He's an angel. He really is. And it's just so cool to say as like a father and as, as a mother, it's like, yeah, that's my son. That's the impact he had. Like if you saw that stinking funeral, guys, in this beautiful Catholic church, just huge. Every single pew was filled, guys, during COVID in Florida. Like, it was insane. And it was just so cool because people came from all over the country. And even more people wanted to come from Panama and Puerto Rico, but couldn't come. Like, it was like if it happened, thinking when there wasn't travel restrictions, we would have had this thing and have people outside. I'm telling you, it was that packed. He was that loved. He, he reached that many people, impacted them greatly. Like, people that used to work with him that weren't even like close with him were like, yo, I got to go to this thing, you know, because it's like Armani just treated people with such goodness every single place he went. He did not have an enemy. All right. He did not have somebody that he had one person. <laughs> and I remember one person, one, one girl was not a fan, uh, but that's understandable. You know, like if you if, if you if you're trying to scoop Armani as your one and only and he's like, nah, then yeah, you're gonna do some wild stuff like make up, make up rumors and lies and all that stuff, you know? But anyway, he was not, he, <laughs> he was not hated by anyone, you know? Anyone that truly knew him and loved him. Uh, I mean, obviously, yeah, but anyway, man, so it was, it was good to be a part of it, even from afar. Uh, it was heavy and tell me how, man, the, bruh. So the gift that, I got a gift that I was not expecting that was just wow, smacked me in the face. 100% like a wow moment, just heavy emotions, cried like three times. Uh, but if you look behind me, I, I'm doing a video, so maybe I'll clip this part up so people can see it. But uh, there is a picture, a portrait of Jesus with some lambs and some <laughs> and, and birds flying below him. And just all, it looks like the American flag. And it's just the light in the woods. And it's just so beautiful. It's the most perfect, perfect. I'll post a picture of it, too. It's the most perfect, perfect picture in the history of. Of pictures right I, I opened it and it smacked me in the face it was like the spirit of god just like came through and just boom hit me right and then i look on it and it has a sticky note on it that says uh hey bro keep killing it uh <laughs> uh i think it said hey bro keep killing it uh oh it said ayo ziggy keep killing it uh and stuff like that and it said armani right so it was it was a note it was something that i said on the podcast about armani recently 
Uh, the exact quote that I said that he would send me a gift about the like if I got the office and he was alive, he would send me a gift and said, you know, I got you and stuff like that. So Kelly Sinkin coordinated it with Catherine to sink in, write the note and put it on the picture that she sent. So tell me how it was supposed to come Friday or Saturday or something like that. It ended up coming on Tuesday, the day of Armani's death, right? October 6th. So it came that day and Catherine like filmed me thinking opening it and stuff like that. I was like, what's going on? Like, I was so shocked. I was like, man, did you find out the gender of the baby? <laughs> you know, I was like, did you find out you telling me this way? Uh, Cause you couldn't wait or something like that. You know, I was like so confused by, uh, by the gift, you know? So I opened it and man, it just blew me away. And I just wanted to kind of take a moment to talk about it on, on, on air instead of just posting about it on Instagram and stuff like that. So um, it's behind me now. It kind of coordinates so beautifully with the flag. Like it's, it's perfect. I love the picture. Um, I want to get a close up for you guys to see. Uh, so I'll make sure I'll post that somewhere for you guys to see. But man, it was just incredible gesture and just really made me feel loved by Armani.